Hey everyone, CPO here, and in this video, I'm going to, I don't know, show you guys who are maybe new to the Remarkable uh, tablet how to trace pictures. Um, this is a question I see come up a lot is, uh, I want to uh, put a picture onto the Remarkable so that I can trace it, um, but I don't know how to do that. And so I'll show you a method uh, that I use, works really well, it really is, um, there's really only one way to make it work. Uh, there's a couple of ways to get content onto your device. So for this particular exercise, I'm gonna assume that you are using the syncing service, the cloud services with uh, Remarkable, in which case I am right now connected to uh, Wi-Fi. And what I wanna do is put an image on this device so that I can trace it. I wanna draw, uh, but I'm not a great artist. So if I have something I can trace as a foundation, then I can work from there. And so that's really what I plan to do. Now, the way this works is you cannot import an image file directly onto the Remarkable. I don't know why. Uh, pings, JPEGs, whatever, you can't just like drag and drop them in there and then have them be available to copy and paste into your content. But what you can do is load up PDF files. So what we wanna do is get a PDF version of the picture and then we'll add that uh, to our device and then use that as basically a template layer uh, that we will work off of. So uh, to start, what I'm gonna do is just go to the computer. I'm gonna pick a, uh, a Mickey Mouse picture just because it's a simple exercise. There are some fun ones in here. Um, I just did a Google search for Mickey Mouse and then uh, selected images and then just looking at all the different images that are available. I'm just gonna pick this first one because it's a nice uh, simple one for uh, the test exercise. Uh, so what I like to do is open that uh, into its own tab so that it's by itself with no other content and we can just delete that. And then what I'm gonna do is go up here and I'm gonna use the read on Remarkable uh, plugin on Google Chrome. And uh, right now I have it set as options to send as PDF, which is my default. And uh, that's gonna work for this. If you try and send it as text, it's not gonna work obviously because there's no text. You can change your default or you can just right click on it and then send on Remarkable as PDF. Same uh, net result. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna open up a print screen uh, where you can then uh, set your destination printer as read on Remarkable. Now, if you don't see it in your list and it probably won't be there by default if you haven't used this before, you can go down and see more and it will probably be down here somewhere. So set it to read uh, on Remarkable. You can adjust the settings. Right now I have it set to nearly 200%. If I use the default, it's kind of a smaller picture. Um, sometimes I'll go in and scale it up a little bit just to make it bigger. And then, uh, yeah, black and white is fine. Hit print. And then what you're gonna see is it's gonna show up right here on my device. And that's the magic of the uh, the cloud capabilities that, that Remarkable has put in place. So once I have this picture here, I can then open up this document. Now this is a PDF document. And so if you look at the layers here, we have automatically a layer on top of a background. Now, as soon as you load this, you can draw on this and you're drawing on the top layer, not on the image itself. So this allows us to quickly go in and trace it. So uh, from here, you can set whatever tool you want. I'm gonna use a fine liner in a medium. Also, you can come in here and zoom in and zoom out as you like, and then move around um, up here. But this um, image actually, I made it big enough that I don't really need to zoom in uh, to be able to trace it effectively. So I'm just gonna come in here and quickly trace. It doesn't matter if it's perfect, especially for this demonstration, but just to show you the concept. And at any point you wanna see where your progress is, you can come down here and remove the background layer, which is the image itself, and see where you're at. If you need to redo something, you can always erase or use the undo button. So I kind of came across there. It's not too big of a deal. That's gonna be black anyway. Now I'm gonna trace the inside line. 
So once we get this thing traced, the next question is going to be like, what do you do with it? Well, I don't want to keep this document on my Remarkable. What I want to do is insert this image that I am tracing into another one of my notebooks. So the way I'll do that is going to be demonstrated here quickly. Um, I am not a great artist. I'm normally a better tracer, but this is just a quick demo. Let's see how things look. Okay, not horrible. All right, pretty horrible. But now I just wanna look real quick and see where the black is that I'm gonna fill in. Okay, so I can go ahead and start working uh, off of the um, my drawing. And I'm just gonna fill this in with a marker. Obviously, you can spend as much time on this as you want. I picked Mickey because he's a fairly easy character to trace. And again, if you have more intricate uh, objects that you wanted to trace, you can use the zoom feature and that will give you the ability to zoom in and out and get some really good detail. Let's see, let's just... And then this is nose. Just blacken his eyes in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go back to the fine liner for this work here. If you have a problem with accidentally touching, don't forget you can hide that menu. Um, I um, sometimes when I'm drawing will accidentally put my hand over there on that that menu bar and and accidentally change my selection. All right, so there we go. We've got our uh, our Mickey Mouse, and you can see here there's with the background, and then there is just our drawing. So we did a, a pretty decent job. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it looks like I could probably darken up his eyes a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the marker in a medium. Let's see here. It's going to darken those lines. Now, if I don't like that, um, I can erase. And just sort of clean that up a little bit. All right, there we go. This is my Mickey Mouse drawing. All right, so now I have this. I want to put it into someplace else in my Remarkable. What I'm going to do is just select. And that will select up just that content. And I'm going to hit copy. Now it's copied to my clipboard. So what I can do here now is go anywhere else into my Remarkable. Let's say uh, my quick notes as a perfect example. Here I have some stuff um, and let's see here, medium. Actually, let me change to the fine liner in a medium. So I have my Mickey Mouse uh, note here and I want to um, paste that. I can come in here, by, if I reselect, notice I can draw and do whatever, but as soon as I make this selection again, I have this bottom here because I have something in the clipboard. So tap with the marker to paste. And then from here, um, I can come in, I can rotate, I can scale, and then I can drag around. I'm gonna put them right there, right? And then just tap anywhere and that will now be a part of your notebook. Now it's still in the clipboard. You can come in here and tap again and add another one. I 
make them about the same size. There you go. And when you're done, just clear the clipboard and then uh, you'll be back into select mode if you want. So um, that is that. Uh, and now that's in my new um, quick notes. I can go ahead and just delete this original document. Don't need it anymore because I've got my Mickey Mouse drawings right here in my quick notes. And I can continue to work on them and clean them up and expand upon them, draw bodies on them, whatever you want. But that is how I think an easy way to get content to your device to trace it. Now, um, there are other ways to get PDFs of images, but I think Read on Remarkable is a great way. You're basically just printing it to PDF. But if you have an image uh, in some other graphical editing program, you can usually export to a PDF version and then just uh, import that in using one of the Remarkable apps or third-party apps for Remarkable. So anyway, guys, I hope that helps you. Uh, just a little demonstration, like I said, uh, I've seen quite a few people sort of get the Remarkable and are perplexed about how they get images onto their device. Now, again, uh, this isn't a tablet in the sense of it's not Android, it's not iPad, it's, it's, it's a notebook. So it's not designed to take graphical images and paste them in. It just doesn't work that way. So if you want to embed something like this into your notes, you're going to want to trace it or draw it. Uh, and that's just the way this is. And I actually find that very appealing for some reason. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.